After six days and help is seen on the ground bringing hope to survivors and victims, a hope to recover the remains of those buried in this massive landslide. This help comes from the PNG's closest friend, Australia. His Excellency Mr John Fix, the Australian High Commissioner to Papua New Guinea, gave condolences to survivors and victims at the care centre. People of Anger, um, condolences of the Australian people and the Australian government for this horrible tragedy. My heart goes out to the survivors who've lost family and friends um, and the devastation that they've suffered. Not only the loss of family and friends, loved ones, but uh, their livelihoods as well. Provincial Administrator Sandy Saka highlight on the level of support received so far. We are encouraged by the support and commitment we've got from all our international partners and especially the Australian government to provide relief efforts, basic food, basic water and basic sanitary kits and other essential goods and services that our people need on the ground to address their immediate needs. I will let the High Commissioner speak to the support they're providing, but the support generally from our international community has been very good. I want to commend the United Nations team that have been our traditional partners on the ground, UNDP, UNICEF, IOM, and our other UN agencies on the ground who've assisted us with our initial response. Representing the national government in the midst of the looming vote of no confidence, the Minister for Defence, Dr. Billy Joseph, and the provincial member, Sir Peter Ipatas, were first to visit the site and the first member of parliament to visit after six long days since the landslide buried the village that include a registered elementary school and the only road that leads to Pogara gold mine. The debris from the landslide itself is massive and the hope to recover the bodies of those buried still remain a question. It's day number seven and to date only seven bodies were recovered so far with limbs from over 600 that were estimated buried. From the inside sources, specialists from the PNG Defense Force specialized in handling the remains of those buried are on the ground. The question now is how fast the teams can recover the bodies buried as according to standards and requirements after 14 days they will declare bodies missing and the provincial member will have to have a signature on their declaration. In the meantime, the subsided bridge was fixed and fuel now will not be an issue for the province. Recovery work should be fast-tracked as soon as possible. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News, Pogara Paila.